Today, it's child labor versus the Mexican bean beetles. But first, I've gotta get the lawn mowed. child laborers have not yet arrived, so I'm gonna spread some mulch in the hot sun over a future garden area. My child laborers have not arrived yet. And working in this heat reminds me I need to check all of the animals' water. It's a hot day today. Well, it's hot for the mountains of North Carolina. And there's one chicken down here at the barn that's outside the fence. So I either need to let it in the fence or give it some water outside the fence. Shower dolly, pull you down a little bit. There's nothing like a glass of ice cold water on a hot day. Here we face our adversary, the Mexican bean beetle larva. The army of laborers has arrived. Are you guys ready to get bean beetles? All right, none of you have heard this yet. I'm gonna pay you one penny for every bean beetle you get. Okay, you, right, you guys ready to get started? If you get a hundred, you can have a dollar. Here's one of the larva. There's two Mexican bean beetles. No wait, those are Japanese beetles. Just teasing. Here's an adult Mexican, Mexican bean beetle. They will get on the underside of the leaves especially and just munch and munch and chew holes in the leaves. Mexican bean beetles can actually decimate your beans. As you can see, ours have a lot of damage already. I've had years where they eat so much of the foliage that it actually reduces the productivity and can even kill bean plants. They say you can lose about 20% of the foliage from your bean plants before you actually have a drop in production. Interestingly, these purple beans with beautiful purple beans have a lot less damage from the bean beetles. This video is not about all the ways to kill them. It's just about how we're doing it. The ways to kill them, if you want to use organic or beyond organic methods, would be manually remove them. There's multiple predator insects that will feed on the um, Mexican bean beetle and you also in really bad cases can spray with something like rodenone, um, which is an insecticide. It will kill pretty much any insects on your plants, but then you can't harvest for some time after that. So today we're actually just gonna pick them off. Each of the kids has a cup with a little bit of water in it to drop them in because you can squish them, but they're kind of gross. They explode into yellow slime. I'm the first one that found one. You're the first one that found one? Good job, floating in water. Here, buddy, let me show you what they look like. Throw it in your cup. <gasps> Two! Grab them, there's hundreds of them. Adult beetles are tricky. When you go for them, they actually have a defense mechanism of dropping off the leaf. So you, if you put your hand under, they'll drop right into your hand. And they do this, I guess, too. If you touch them, they'll just drop. I think that just squishing them is by far the fastest way to get this done, rather than dropping them in water. You can also find them in the uh, 
larva stage, I mean, sorry, in the pupa stage, that's what we're looking at here. You're like a rabbit munching in the garden. They say you can use crop rotation to reduce the Mexican bean beetle, but I kind of question how much that'll work because this is the ultimate rotation, a brand new garden. No garden has been here for years, and yet the beetles found the bean plants and we have an infestation. The adult beetles will winter in the garden, along the soil, um, underneath garden debris, so keeping our garden clean can be helpful in reducing the population that makes it through the winter in your garden. Well, we've only made a tiny dent in our bean beetle problem. Fortunately, we did something smart and we planted a lot of beans. So we're gonna be picking tons of beans for at least the next couple weeks, even if the bean beetles end up shortening our season. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you in tomorrow's video. Have a great night. Oh, there's another great day on the homestead. <laughs>